after the initial recording session was done for uh, Loaded, we started playing at Max's, and um, at that point, uh, Billy, my brother, came in to play because Maureen still wasn't uh, playing, and uh, he came in from uh, Long Island to uh, play every night, and uh, he was uh, still in high school, I think. He was a senior in high school, and um, uh, so that was kind of fun for him, but kind of, I don't, I don't know how, what the, um, the laws are in New York, or what they were at the time, but it was a bar, you know, and so he was about, he was maybe 17, um, so that was a little strange. <laughs> Um, and the um, in the process of of um, playing at Max's, play, we played upstairs every night, f five or six nights a week, and um, like uh, with Monday off and maybe Sunday or Tuesday off, and, and uh, yeah, probably Monday and Tuesday, Wednesday through Sunday, I'm guessing. And uh, Sesnick sat at the door and collected money, and uh, it was. It was very small. It was very intimate. It was um, uh, it was fun. You know, it was it was like playing at a house concert. Just about because half the people there, everybody knew. You know, um, at some point in there, uh, on one beginning of a work week, uh, Sesnick came in and said, "Lou won't be coming tonight." This is about an hour before um, showtime, and. Uh, what are you going to do? I mean, you know, in retrospect, it would have been good to say, well, we'd like to talk to him, you know, before we agree to, you know, keep going. But um, uh, I think that's why Sesnick, let, you know, left it until the last minute was that that pressure of the show must go on kind of mentality would be on his side. It was a total shock. He, I mean, it was a total surprise. He was just one, you know, one week he was there. We came back, and literally until the show was about to start, um, I was expecting him to turn up. I thought he was late. Um, and like I said, that's one of the reasons that I think Sesnick did that was because Sesnick had been, had engineered, essentially, Lou's leaving the group. He basically... Um, he and Lou had a relationship where Lou depended on him for certain um, uh, kind of moral support, like uh, sort of as an insulator against, you know, the world just to be, uh, the, uh, the, 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 the kind of New York subculture to just kind of keep things cool. And, and, uh, and he trusted him, you know, and, and Sesnick said to him, you know, screw you. I don't care anymore. I don't care about you, you know, and, and, uh, it must have been really hard for Lou to, you know, to hear that because he had depended so much on him uh, by Sesnick's design. I mean, that's what he does is he, you know, he flatters you, he makes you um, depend on him, and then he has control of you, um, which isn't to say I'm angry at him. You shouldn't, you shouldn't <laughs> think that, uh, that that's the case. But, um, you know, he... Uh, he basically engineered the, um, as a, this is, I wasn't there, but my understanding is he basically set it up and when he decided that, that he didn't want to deal with Lou anymore, he just said, screw you, and Lou quit. And, um, and then Sesnick just carried on. He, you know, kept the band going um, by his, by the way he set the whole, up set thing, thing up telling us about it late, and um, and you know and uh, it took a long time for for everything to come out you know, for the to, to for for at least for me to understand it to understand how how it went down like that.